Hello everybody. Um, as you may or may not know, the ZX Spectrum Next is uh, live on Kickstarter now. To those of us of a certain age, the uh, ZX Spectrum is a, a very uh, important machine. And I'm just looking at the pledges now. It's been on, how long has it been live? Today I think, it's Sunday today. It's already got 223,814 pounds of a goal of 250,000 pounds. So a thousand, just over a thousand backers have almost backed quarter of a million pounds for the ZX Spectrum Next. And I'll read a little bit about it. Uh, the ZX Spectrum Reborn, a new machine fully compatible with the original computer, packed with improvements and expansions. Uh, you can pledge £175 to get the computer in all its glory with 512 MB RAM, HDMI and a 7 MHz accelerator port and an SD card. Expected delivery is January 2018. Includes shipping anywhere in the world. Um, the blurb on the Kickstarter is, we love the Spectrum, why wouldn't we? It was much more than a computer, it was a machine that sparked a gaming revolution. Neatly housed within its iconic design, powered by sheer simplicity, the Spectrum was and is on a league of its own. On a league, in a league of its own, surely. Decades have come and gone since the Spectrum is alive and kicking. Was alive and kicking. New games are being launched all the time. The demo scene carry carries on pushing the hardware limits to the unimaginable. Artists keep creating 8-bit eye candy and music along with it. Alongside this, there are thousands of awesome games. Um, meanwhile, hardware hackers around the world have expanded it to support SD card storage, uh, expanded video modes, more memory, faster processors. The problem is these expansions are now difficult to get a hold of. And without standardizing the Spectrum, no one knows what to support for. So this is our answer, the ZX Spectrum Next. It is an updated, enhanced version of the ZX Spectrum, totally compatible with the original, featuring a major hardware development of the past many years, packed inside a simple and beautiful case designed by the original designer, Rick Dickinson, inspired by his work at Sinclair Research. What's inside the box? In the motherboard is an expanded and updated version of the ZX Spectrum compatible with hardware and software as original. You can play games, demos and use your original hardware with it. it includes new graphics modes and faster processor speeds. The specifications are a ZX 80, 3.5 and 7 MHz, a 512K of RAM, expandable to 1.5 MB internal and 2.5 MB external. Hardware sprites, 256 colors, and the Timex 8x1 mode. RGB, VGA and HDMI out. SD card slot with div MMC compatible protocol. Audio, three times, three times AY chips with stereo output and FM sound. DB9 compatible joystick. Uh, PS2 port, multi-phase function for memory access, saves and cheats, tape support for ear and uh, mic, uh, original expansion bus, bus for expansion, accelerator board option for um, a GPU, a 1 GHz CPU and 512 MB RAM, Wi-Fi internet capable, a real-time clock and an internal speaker. Now it looks like, from the images, it looks like a, a ZX Spectrum Plus 1 to 8, but slightly modernized and pretty eyesed. Um, it looks beautiful. It is a beautiful machine. I think between this and the C65, whenever that launches, um, these are two of the machines that are really on my radar, personally to be of great interest. Uh, the brains behind the project, I won't read it all out, you can go to the website and read it. Rick Dickinson, the original um, designer of the ZX Spectrum, the ZX80, ZX81, the Plus and the QL. Uh, Victor Trucco, who is a hacker, 
Um, there's no point in me trying to read these names out, I'll just make a hash of it. Um, does it work? Does it actually exist in hardware? Yes, it does. It has been developed and it is working. Kickstart is, Kickstart is purely to iron out details and make sure the machine works fully. It is already working. There's a picture of a motherboard wired into an LCD TV. A few demos, a few games playing. Picture of the motherboard. Seems to be semi populated. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, when's it? So, if delivery is expected for January uh, 20, so this is uh, 18, I keep forgetting it's 2017. That means they must be ready for production. Must be. Or we're almost ready for production. What are we in now? April. April 2017. They've got six or so months to get this thing bugs ironed out, cases made, packaging, testing, software, manuals, if it comes with a manual, and delivered in six months. Pretty good going. Let's see how they get on. I hope it works out better than the Sinclair Vega thing. Um, I'll include a few pictures so you can see this and a link to the web page. If you're thinking about backing this, you need to get your skates on. It is almost completely booked. Anyway, looks damn good to me. Fingers crossed. Thank you. This may look like a regular ZX Spectrum, but it's nothing but. Inside it is a ZX Spectrum Next board powering it. And I will now hook it up to an HDMI monitor and show you it running some old games, some new games, demos, and some of the technical aspects of it. So I'm gonna start by playing some good old favorites. Why not Nightmare? There you go. As you can see, it runs just like the original. But that's to be expected, right? We couldn't make it the next not to be fully compatible with the original. But let's not stop at the game. Let's try a very good challenge, like this demo. Now, this demo uses timings to extend the image to the borders. It's using border effects, like games like Aquaplane and so on, to extend the, the video. Now, this is such a hard demo to run, even some emulators cannot do it. It's a testimony to Victor and Fabio's ingenuity that they, the Next is able to run at such a precise timing in the ULA that it can run something like this. So this game was so slow back in the day that very few people managed to play it on the Spectrum. Let's see how it looks on the Next. Very low frame rate, as you can tell. But if I turn on the acceleration, all of a sudden, yeah, this is playable now. That doesn't mean that I know how to play it. <laughs> but nonetheless, the frame rate is, well, makes it possible for you to play the game. Let me try something else that I'm actually decent at, let's say 3D Star Strike, a typical 3D game for the Spectrum. So this is how we used to play, and we loved this game back in the day. But if I accelerate it, the sound keeps running just fine, gameplay is just fine, it's just the frame rate that goes up. It's incredible. I, I, I was always assume that some of these games will be unplayable if you just accelerate the, the Z80, but actually no. It's uh, much more fun and much more interesting to look at.
You can also do Star Strike too, because I know some people keep asking this on Facebook group, how does it play? So let me show you how does it play Accelerate. There you go. Again, very playable. One of the original games that we couldn't play back in the day. Performance just wasn't there for the Spectrum to run these games. And now, we can do it. Now that we know that the Next can run our old favorite games better than they used to, let's try something else. Let's try to make the Next run them better looking than they did. So this is Cybernoid 2, and one of the games that allow you to turn on the enhanced color modes. There you go. This makes the game look much better than they did before. There you go. Colors that we didn't use to have originally, like oranges and... But it's still the same game. And I'm still suck at it. This is the accelerated version of Robocop 2. Again, it plays bad accelerated. Here's a game that should totally get a remake using bad, better graphics and ah! That shit is just amazing. I play it in an accelerated mode, by the way, because the frame rate gets better. <gasps> but also means it's much more harder to play. You can tell that the sound is slightly more high-pitched than the original. This is how it used to sound like and play like. Not sure about you, but I prefer this mode. I think even the sound gets better, <laughs> if I'm honest. Homebrew. The Spectre is alive and well. Games continue to be made for it. This is a 2015 game. And not only is great, it plays very well thanks to accelerated mode. Look at how smooth the graphics are. Let me turn it off and you'll see that now things got slower, less frames and so on. But with the accelerated mode, the scrolling is smooth, the characters flow just like in the best parts of the game. It's surprisingly playable. This is Doom on the Spectrum. Not very many people saw this, but uh, of course, with the next, not only we can play it, but we can crank up the best video mode available for the game. Another important aspect to mention uh, is the HDMI out. This monitor is HDMI connected to the HDMI output. Could have been VGA or RGB, but I'm using HDMI and the audio also comes out of the HDMI. Although I could connect an audio output here to a uh, home theater system or something like that.
Thank you.